So I love to bring new brands to you guys on a regular basis. Today we're taking a look at a new dive watch. It's the first offering from a brand called Ben Clare. This is called the Rocks Diver. What they've done here is taken some classic elements from vintage dive watches and mixed it with some design elements that are modern, essentially meshing vintage and modern into one watch. Now I'm not entirely sure it works, but let's flip the camera and take a look at a new dive watch from Ben Claire called the Rocks Diver. So when this brand reached out to me to do a review, I was a little bit skeptical because I wasn't sure about the price on the watch. They told me about the specs, but they weren't sure what they were going to be charging for it yet. And this is a prototype, so it's very close to what the production model will be. But they recently came out to me and told me that the watch was on its way and the price would be $339. Now I was actually very impressed with the watch when I received it at that price. So that's what this watch will be on its Kickstarter and that's November 29th, I think, 2022, if you were watching this in the future. So here is the watch. It's powered by Miyota Movement. It's a 9000 series, a 9015, because you do have the date right there. It is a textured dial with some really weird indices and you also have a very heavy Fume dial. So you have to like the look of this watch and if you don't, obviously, you're not gonna enjoy what they have done here. So they've done a really weird bezel as well. You have a line through the bezel, that is all loomed. There is a red line here for the first 20 minutes. You have a little V, upside down V, for the 12 o'clock uh, index on there. It's all engraved into ceramic. Like I said, it's also loomed. The indices are sort of weird shapes. There's some circles, but there's also sort of shield shaped indices, those are filled with loom. And then you have sort of Ming-esque hands on here, I think. Not entirely the same as Ming, obviously they aren't fully loomed or anything like that, but uh, the shape, the general shape of the hand, very similar, and then you have a lollipop second hand, and that little lollipop is actually in red, and that has loom. Uh, the Fume pattern here is very heavy, so it's almost black on the outer ridge. You have a black chapter ring, and then it gets to a rosy red color towards the center. This is a 300 meter dive watch. Right now, I think this has a push-pull crown, but uh, the production model will have a screwed-in crown. It's also signed with their logo. It just says the brand name right there, Benkler, and then it has a little logo that is applied. The only thing I have to say about this, and I don't know if they're going to be changing this on the production model, there is a color matched date wheel to that date. However, it's sort of a lighter red than the rest of the dial. I think it should be a black color match date wheel in my opinion. I think that's probably uh, the way to go with this dial because in that area it's almost black anyway. Uh, I think it would stand out less. In my opinion that's a good thing or just put a white background on that date wheel so it's matching or sort of balances with that 12 o'clock index. That's just my opinion but you also have a beads of rice bracelet on here. It does have friction pins so keep that in mind and then you do have a very generic buckle on here. So the generic buckle is signed, but it is a very generic milled buckle. You only get three positions of micro adjust. So definitely something to keep in mind here. I'm not sure if they'll be upgrading this for the production model, but at 339, I think this is pretty forgivable. All in all, it's a very functional and nicely made bracelet. Uh, beads of rice, if you like a beads of rice, I, I do. I think it looks really sort of vintage because of that and that's kind of what they were going for um but you know the buckle at 339 really not terrible but i would like to see a little bit different of a buckle on here um i always bring that up with every review that i do but it is double signed by the way it also has the name uh, the name of the brand here and then the logo right there uh double push button open that up scissor is milled this is probably pressed uh, but everything else is milled, pressed on the flip closure as well. It's, uh, it's called the Rocks Diver, so they have some mountains here, 
and then a little uh, wave pattern that represents, I guess, a lake or the ocean. Uh, it's a screwed in case back, 300 meters of water resistance. You also get solid end links on the bracelet. So this is around a 39 millimeter watch, I wanna say. And I know that they did a really good job with loom. So we were gonna do a loom shot at the end so you could see. So it's a 39 millimeter spot on watch right there. And then you do get uh, a pretty true lug to lug uh, 46.7, and even at the bracelet, it's like 47 millimeters, so very, very true. And then a 5.9 millimeter crown. I do wish the crown was a little bit bigger, even though it's a 39 millimeter watch, I still, you know, would like that. You do get a sapphire crystal, by the way, 300 meters of water resistance and 11.9 millimeters thick. That is actually very good. You have a slight taper on the bracelet, which looks good. I, you know, I can go for a little bit more taper as as always because i really like a nice taper on my bracelets but uh there you go uh 9015 like i said i'm not sure if they're going to be making a 9039 version uh, if they come out with a dateless version but right now i think they're only offering a 9030 uh, 9015 version so uh, you will have a date everything lines up in the bezel let's listen to the bezel action So it's a very tight bezel and it has very pronounced clicks and it feels very, very nice. It's tight, but it's very grippy. So it's actually very easy to turn. That's the type of bezel I like because I have very dry hands and it's very, very grippy. It's very easy for me to turn, but it will not move and it does not even wiggle. It doesn't budge at all. So it's like a tank. I do like that a lot. I think they did a, re a really good job on the bezel. Of course, um, you do have a ceramic insert, which is glossy, uh, part of the look of this watch, um, and it is loom, so we're gonna do a loom shot. Uh, anyway, very quickly, let me throw it on my wrist. Today I have on a Mont Blanc. This is my Mont Blanc Heritage GMT. Um, not very legible in this light. I always bring that up whenever I have it on camera. In person, it's a lot better, but they basically put no AR coating on this watch whatsoever. Uh, it's a shame, it's a really cool watch, but you can see there's a lot of AR coating on this watch. Uh, I don't know how much, but you can see it's pretty legible when I move it around where that Mont Blanc, you can barely see anything. Uh, this is basically sized for my seven and a half inch wrist. I could probably do with taking out a link or two, but here it is, 39 millimeter watch, 11.9 millimeters thick, 300 meters of water resistance, and a lug to lug of around 47 millimeters, including the bracelet uh, end links, which are female, so you have a really good lug to lug on here. This would fit very nicely on wrists smaller than mine, uh, and obviously larger than mine. So I think this is a really good looking watch. And I think they did a good job. You have to like the look of this watch. So it's kind of out there. It's very vintage inspired at the same time, sort of modern because that bezel is very modern looking while the dial is very vintage looking and the bracelet is very vintage looking. So it's kind of a mixture of old and new, kind of weird, but I think it does work. And then the hands are also very modern. So it's modern and vintage mixed. Interesting. Uh, very quickly, a loom shot, and the loom on here is actually very good. So as I mentioned, that whole line is loomed. The first 20 minutes, that red line is not loomed, but the actual indices on here are loomed. That's all engraved and filled into that ceramic bezel. All the indices are loomed, and of course you have that lollipop that is loomed. The hands are very liberally applied with loom. Those indices, very liberally applied with loom, and including that bezel. So lots of loom on here does not disappoint they did not skimp on this at all 339 dollars loom is expensive they use a pretty decent movement in here the 9015 which i really like also keeps it nice and thin even though it's a 300 meter dive watch all in all for 339 dollars i think this is a really nice watch you just have to like the look of it that sort of mixture of modern and vintage look is kind of odd um you know some people may not like that i do wish that they upgraded the clasp on here uh, that would be my main complaint. Other than that, uh, everything works pretty well. Maybe a little bit bigger of a crown. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of this watch? What do you think the overall look? I have not seen a brand sort of mix these two worlds, a vintage and, and modern world like this in one diver. 
Um, kind of an interesting take on a diver. Kind of original as well. Of course, the case is sort of generic, but everything else is sort of, you know, interesting and kind of bespoke to this watch. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything that helps support the channel, it doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you in the next video.